guys, so new video for you today. Um, this video was requested a few times. Um, it's basically a what's in my pencil case video. Um, I don't really use a pencil case. Um, I use this, which is um, a pen pot. And so I thought I would kind of change it a little bit um, and kind of show you what I have in here. It is jam packed the stuff this lives on my little um in my little area that i have downstairs um for all my kind of planner crafty bits um so i thought i'd show you what was in here instead so first of all i want to show you this this if i do need a pencil case if i need to bring any pens or anything upstairs or when i went to the miss brimble's planner con um this is the pencil case that I use. It says no filter needed. This is actually a makeup bag. Um, it's in this really gorgeous kind of pink colour with the blue kind of hashtag on. If I need to go anywhere where I need to transport a few pens or um, if I'm coming upstairs to do anything in my journal, uh, this is what I use. So this is the pencil case I use but the, my pens and stuff don't normally live in here. This is what I do use. Um, this pen pot is from Wilkinson's, I believe it's £3.50, um, they are all attached, so they don't come, they don't come apart or anything, they unfold like this and I absolutely love it, I love this kind of um, light teal blue colour and this kind of um, pattern on and then the flowery design, I just think it's really sweet and I love how they're all attached. Um, so you can kind of move them around and transport them around as and when you want. So I'm just going to go through each of these and show you what's inside. And plus I have this which kind of lives on lives with it. So um, the first section I'm going to show you is this one. These are all my binder clips. Um, I have these ones that have right on it. So this one says important. Um, I have... This one that says to do, they come in a pack of I think four of different ones. There's one that says um, to buy and another one, I can't remember the name, what it says. But these were from Primark. Uh, I think they were like 50p for a pack of four, so I picked those up. So they're in there. Um, I have this randomly. This was in the Miss Brimble's um, uh, gift bag. I will link that video below. Um, this is just one of them that I haven't really got a home for, but I do like to use ever so often, so that kind of lives in there as well. Then I have all these ones. These are from Tiger. Uh, myself and my fiance Stephen went to Stratford recently, and there's a very, very small Tiger shop there, and I see these, and they were a pound for a pack of loads. I mean, this it's full of binder clips in there um, which isn't bad so if I can find them online I know Tiger doesn't have an online shop but you can kind of have a look online so I will try and link them below if I can oh there's the other one of that Primark one that says remember so that's another one of them but yes yeah, so that's all that kind of lives in there then on to this section um, I do try and keep this kind of neat, but I have just kind of rammed everything in here just for this video. Um, but yes, yeah, so in this section I have my big scissors. These are from the pound shop. You get these ones and some smaller ones. These are just kind of good for like, just normal scissors. They're really, really sharp as well. They're really good from the pound shop. So I've got, I've got them in there. Uh, I have a really cheap... Um, glue stick from um, Asda. This smells horrible. It's I can't quite explain what it smells like. Um, it's a not very good glue. It doesn't really stick very well and it doesn't really smell very nice. Um, so yeah, this just kind of lives in here. Um, Mia mainly uses this when I do some crafts with her. Um, because it's okay for just a child to quickly use, but I really personally hate the smell of this. 
um, but that is in there anyway. Um, then I have a selection of pens. This one is from Miss Brimbles. Um, everything that is in here I will try and link below, but this is one of her pens. It's just a pink one with the little diamond on. I featured this in the haul video for the event. Um, the lid that was on here kind of snapped, so it doesn't really kind of have in there, but it still works fine. So there's that one in there. I also have this one, which was in the May Brimbles box that I just got. Um, it's just kind of like a white rose one, and it's a thin there. This is black ink. I like using this in my planner, um, I don't really like using blue ink in my planner, I like using black, so this is really nice and I'm really liking these kind of thin, thin liner ones, so that's in there. I also have this one, this I bought the Miss Brimbles event as well, this is kind of like a pink flower one with the gold dot on, this is blue ink and this is more of a kind of ballpoint one. It does leak a little bit that I have seen, so you have to kind of look, be a little bit careful with it, but um, that's just kind of good if I'm doing like list making and stuff, so um, I use that for that, so that's in there. I also have this one, which I got from my beautiful friend Grace, from Grace's Paper Planner. Um, I will link her below. I got this in the recent um, Happy Mail that she sent me. Um, it's just like a cat pen, and... These little feet come off and it's a really nice thin fine line pen this is again black ink I like to use this in my um, planner as well so if I don't use the white rose I use this one um, absolutely addicted to this I absolutely love that so that lives in there as well and then have a random pencil this is just a cheap pound shop one with the rubber on the end I don't really use these but it's nice if I just need a pencil, so that's in there. Um, I have a hair clip. <laughs> um, it's just one of the really big hair clips. Um, I don't really have anywhere to put these, and if I'm filming a video and my hair's in my face and it's annoying me, um, I'll just quickly use this to just kind of shove it up. So that lives in there. Um, I have an uh, Erin Condren pen. I think these are one of the old school ones. I don't really know, I don't really, so, obviously it's the blue one, I have various different colours, I got a pack of them when I got my Erin Condren a few months ago, um, they're nice pens, um, they don't bleed or anything like that, but I'm just not a big fan of blue ink, so that's why I don't really use it, but um, I've got that in there, um, a couple more of the Erin Condren ones, I have the pink, I'm not finished shot, a couple more of the Evan Condren ones. I have the orange and the pink ones there. Again, really nice pens. Um, I don't really like using different colour pens in my planner, but um, these are just nice to have, so I've got them as well. I then have this one, which is the Pilot Fixton. Um, I hope I'm saying that right. Fix Fixton. This is the ballpoint pen. Um, this is the erasable one, so it obviously has the eraser or rubber on the end um, but yeah it's black ink I like using this in my journal I find it writes really smoothly and um, I know a few people have said they've had trouble about rubbing this out that it smears but I've not really had a problem with that I just make sure that this bit stays clear if you keep this clean and clean this bit that that the rubber bit um, it rubs out fine so I've got one of those in there I then have some random kind of cheapy ballpoint pens from the pound shop. This, I think it actually does write in green. I'm going to write on my hand now. Yeah, it is green ink. Um, again, just for like list making and stuff. It's just kind of a cheap pen. So I've got that in there. I don't actually know a lot of what's it actually in here. Um, another cheap ballpoint pen. This is the... The Signo Uniball one, um, it's in black ink, it's kind of a push pull one, uh, it's a 0 0.7 I think nib um, in black, um, this again 
writes really smoothly in my journal. This is another one I use in my journal. Um, so yeah, so that's living in there as well. Uh, oh my god, I've got so much on the bottom here. I then have one of these highlighter pens. They actually came in a pack of five from the April Brimbles box, I want to say. My first ever Brimbles box. I got these highlighters in. They are gorgeous pens. Um, I will try and link them below if they're still on the Miss Brimbles um, page, but I'm not too sure if she still has them in her web on her website, but I'll have a look. Um, you get the blue, the purple, the orange, the yellow and the green. They are such beautiful pens. I love using them as highlights in my journal. Um, they're very, really, really bright and they dry pretty quick. So as soon as you use them on the paper, they dry instantly. So you don't need to worry about it smearing or anything. But I absolutely love those. So those live in there as well. This is kind of like a random receipt. <laughs> this is what I mean. I've not even cleaned out what's in here. I have a pencil sharpener which is actually a makeup sharpener because you've got like the two holes, you've got the top uh, little one and the big one, this is just kind of, everyone's got to have a sharpener really, so it's just kind of a cheap sharpener from Wilkinson's, I believe it was only about 50 pence, um, but it kind of does the job if I need it, so that's in there, actually no, what else is in here, oh I have a magnetic paper clip or bookmark these were in the Miss Brimble's um, gift bag from the Planicon as well um, this one I would particularly like because if I just show you it says be strong and courageous I absolutely love that quote um, I do normally have this in my journal um, on the page that I'm using but I forgot to put it back in when I was writing in it last night so I put it in here to keep it safe um, but yeah I've got that in there some random cheap colouring pencils that I believe my daughter put in there and felt it pen lid this is good I'm clearing this out um, I have the tag from these paper clips which are from Wilkinson's these were a pound for a jar of blue and purple um, paper clips as you can see what I have that sitting in there and then just some kind of hair clips just randomly at the bottom okay now this section this video is going to be so long okay so in here I have these paper clips which are from Asda these were in the um, Asda sale they were 50p uh, knocked down in the sale obviously you get the uh, white and the pink triangles and squares going down I have sent a few as you can see in some happy mail recently um, but these are really cool paper clips so if you have an Asda near you try and grab some they're only 50 pence in the sale but I absolutely love those so they live in there as well uh, another pencil that doesn't actually have any lead in it because it's broke good start these, uh, I have these in various colours. I have it, I think there's more in there, is there more in there? Uh, no, these kind of float around the house. They are in so many different colours, like pink, purple, green, blue. They're like, these are from the pound shop. They're like um, ballpoint pens, but they actually write really nice and smooth. They don't bleed or anything. So this is just the pink one. I just have that one sitting in there. Um, but I can't recommend these enough. You get quite a few as well in a pack. You get like, I don't know, like 10, 15 in a pack from the pound shop. But they are really nice pens and really smooth to write with. So I've got that one in there. Um, I have a non-permanent marker. Um, just because I just needed one. Um, so this is from Wilkinson's. This was about... 20 pence something along those lines just for that so I have that in there I have some kind of more cheaper ballpoint pens again these are from the pound shop um, these because obviously um, you always need pens I always have pens everywhere if you've got like a phone call we need to need a pen so these kind of live in here just to kind of if we need one again black ink I prefer black ink and they're really nice, so they live in there as well. 
I then have these. These are from a pack from the pound shop. These are the big, uh, the big grip roller fine line pens. If I can get that to focus, there you go. Um, you get two red, two red, two black, and two blue. Uh, the black and the blue ones are elsewhere in this flat somewhere. Um, I know I gave a couple to my dad as well, but um, these are really, really good. Um, I really like the grip on these as well. The um, ink does not bleed on these. These are again from the pound shop. Um, but yeah, so these are really nice to work with as well. So I have those in there. Uh, I have some more of the Evan Condren pens. This one is the red one and the purple one. So again, they all came in the same pack when I got my planner. I'm trying to reach down in here now. Um, I have another one of the binder clips. This one says urgent. So again, that was from Primark in that set. I then have these. These are the really small fine liner pens from Again, the pound shop, you get quite a few. I believe I've got the other ones in here as well. So yeah, you get the pa this pack, again, from the pound shop, just the th fine liner ones. The black and the blue ones are really, really nice. Um, they're just kind of really small pens, to be honest. I thought they were really cute. And the fine liners as well. Um, these ones do bleed a little bit if you use them in the oven condren. I've not tried them in anything else, but in the oven condren these do bleed. So um, be warned if you want to get those. But yeah, so they're them. What else have I got in here? Another oven condren. This is the green one. Um, just a felt tip pen from Hobby World. Um, Mia likes to put her pens in there as well because she classes this as her pen pot as well. I'm just going to empty out everything else that's in here. So I have some hair bubbles and some hair clips. They just kind of find their way in there. Some cheap kind of colouring pencils. A pencil from Argos. <laughs> My daughter likes to take them as well. And then just some smaller scissors. These are actually nail scissors, um, but they're really, really sharp. I like using these with washi tape or anything like that. So um, they live in there as well. So that was everything. As you can see, it is now empty in there. That was in my pen pot slash pencil case. Um, I hope you enjoyed I'll that. Comment below from where it was from, um, if I can find it online at all. Um, but yeah, so this is the first of some of the videos that were suggested for me to do. Um, all the other videos will be filmed over the next few weeks, so keep an eye out for that. Um, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers, as I said in a few of my other videos. Um, and then I'll be doing a giveaway when I do. So if you're not subscribed, then please do. But um, thank you for watching, and I will speak to you in my next video. Bye!